So oh, this week we are going to see a new enemy in the Shrill and we are going to see Supreme Weapons coming in. Those are a couple of the items that would be the highlights of what's to come. You see the Shrill Emergence. Now I do believe it's only going to be miners and they are only going to be here in Silicon Valley. They're not going to be anywhere else. So, And I have not seen that they drop anything different than what we're used to seeing. So it, for the moment being it's just new enemies in a new miner arc fall. To see and we'll check that out in a minute but um i know one of the bigger questions is going to be supreme weapons which you can see both of the weapons i have equipped are currently supreme and that was easy to do and now it's going to be harder to do and what do you mean by that well when i did them they had it set where it was one arc forge for like a 20 percent chance and that is definitely going to be different now and I mean definitely going to be different so let's let's look at this Wolverine actually we'll click over here select an item to modify and uh, trying to find something newer because everything isn't a hundred percent set up I don't think it's all right on uh, PTS but it is on probably going to be on live and this is going to be the difference I want to show you right now it's showing me at a 5% chance for 100 arc forge. Woof. <laughs> so I, that is a, a big change and can get very, very expensive very, very fast. 5% is not a very big chance for it to be 100 arc forge. But that's going to be what it is. And it's the same as before. You can up your chances 10%. You have to add another 75. So as you go up... It gets a little bit cheaper, and if we click, 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 all the way to 100%, it's a lot less than it was before. You see, it was 3,200 Arc Forge now. It was like 8,800 before, so it's a lot cheaper to be 100% sure you're going to get a Supreme Weapon, but the the bottom line is by far more expensive. 100 Arc Forge for... <laughs> 1% is, uh, uh, for 5% is very low, but 3200 is a lot cheaper than what it was going to be before. So that's what you have to do to be 100% sure that your weapon will turn into a supreme weapon. And don't forget, it isn't only about upgrading the rarity to get to supreme weapons. If you, <laughs> if you can get to over tier 30 and after round 8, or round 8 and above, I should say, you can have a small chance to have a supreme weapon drop from you in expedition but that is serious playing time to get to round eight even and 30 plus is where it really starts to pick up a little bit of difficulty so those are going to be a little bit harder to come by and not a ton of people i know really care much to grind out expeditions anymore round eight is a long ways to go and I want to show you too, because we're going to be able to change the roles on our weapons. I want to click on our Sovereign Assault Rifle here. And we'll go ahead and show you to change the Rarity Tier Bonus. Now you click on it, and you'll see this pop up over here. So if I wanted to change the White Roll, which is 1.05 crit, I could try to re-roll it and it would cost me 5 Arc Forge. And you'll see it goes up. Every time you click on one, it goes up some. Of course now at purple is where it makes a jump then another fairly decent jump up to legendary and the supreme is 250 to try to reroll your supreme now to make a I'm happy with these because they've reduced them they cut them by like 50% it was 500 arc forge to reroll your supreme roll on a weapon which you see it's a 1.15 damage for your supreme roll it was 500 so 250 is great in comparison so that's kind of what you'll be able to do to change some of your rolls um i've been playing around with some of them trying to you know change certain rolls up and everything and it's it's i don't know we'll see let's see if we can't let's see we got a heartbreaker assault car brian we'll go ahead and show you this because i can do that if it'll it will change a roll. Uh, let's see. What's our legendary is 1.3 crit. Our epic 10% ego on crit kill. So those are actually really good rolls. Rare is damage. So no wonder I probably kept this as pretty good rolls all the way around. But let's just go with the common. It's five, 
five arc forge to change it. We'll click on that. And we'll hit yes to changing it. And let's go back to that weapon again. And see what it did for us. So now it changed it to accuracy. So, you know, that's not as good, but it's not. this is just test server. So that's all we're doing here. And you'll see the lock by it now. I can no longer change any roll on this gun except for the white roll. Once you've changed one color, that's the only one you're allowed to change. So you have to remember that. You can't sit there and just try to pick through and change every single roll on the gun. That's not going to work like that. Once you've changed one, if I'd have done the orange, I'd never be able to change anything but the orange roll after that. So, And it can only pick from what's available from above, uh, from lower. So. If, if I re-rolled this one, it would not be able to move damage up to here because damage is a higher rarity. So the the higher the rarity, you can't roll it on a lower one. So if I wanted my crit to be up here, I would have to change the legendary roll because the, the legendary roll is the highest tier on this particular gun. So if I re-rolled this, it would become, it could become reload or accuracy or fire rate, but it could never become crit because crit is a higher one. So that's going to be how that's going to kind of work out when you're changing your rolls on your guns and everything. So that's really not bad for changing. I don't think the Arc Forge cost is too awful and it's set, so that makes it better uh, for changing the rolls on your guns and everything. Something we've all really, you know, kind of there's always that one roll you just wish was a little bit different sometimes. And now we'll be able to change that, especially, especially as this purple roll, a lot of people want to change. A lot of times you'd like to not have the stowed or. Grenade, you'd like to change all that. So those kind of what's fixing to be coming out this this week. Remember, remember, sometime this coming week, this is going to be out. So yeah, we'll be able to have supreme weapons and somehow I changed my weapon out. I don't want a Wolverine equip. That's that's for sure. <laughs> uh we'll have our supreme weapons coming out and there it is, that's what I'm looking for. And uh we'll be able to change our roles. Now don't forget there's also supposed to be a cap coming on Arc Forge. Now it was going to be 250 and now it's going to be 500. So that'll be a lot better. 500 is a lot harder to hit than you think it is. I know there's people who could grind it out a lot more and get a lot more than that, but honestly and truly, it's not that bad uh, to be at 500. I think that's pretty good right there. I thought 250 was a little low. Easy for me to hit 250, but even when I play quite a bit, I probably don't even hit 500, so that's good. Now, remember, if you do have the patron pass, none of that applies. You can go get as much Arc Forge as you want, and the uh, drops from crates do not count. Or if it's from a daily or weekly reward, those would not count towards the uh, cap. So only only what you earn in-game playing is what would count towards that cap. So... With all that said, that should cover a lot of the bigger items that should be coming this week. And I don't know if I actually saw it, but I'm pretty sure that they are going to put the Arc Forge cap in this week. So let's go find us a Shrill Emergence Minor Arc Fall. All right, here we go. There's us a Shrill Emergence right here. You can see these little buggers right here that kind of blow up on you. So, yeah, I uh, definitely like to use a detonator with these guys. Uh, I don't know how effective that would be uh, when there's more people, but they're so small, such a tiny little target, <laughs> that a detonator seems to work much better with them. Granted, when there's more people around, it's definitely going to take more rounds to take them out than what I'm having to currently use. As you can see these guys, look at them. I really like the flying ones. I like the way they sound when they die. By far the coolest sound. Mm, might be the next round before we see them. I don't know if I see them in... in well, this is wave 3. Holy crap. So yeah, I should see them this wave. Surprised there isn't one out here now. Okay, we're gonna go to wave 4, so... 
There we go. It's that feeder. Look at him, he's drooling. Listen to this. If you can hear it. Kind of like a car tire screeching or something. It's a really cool sound. Look at all these. <laughs> no, I just downed myself. <laughs> it's awesome. Letting them build up too much. This thing is way too powerful to be shooting yourself with. And I did it again. But that, uh, that's the shrill. If you just uh, can use a detonator properly, you shouldn't have any problems. But I don't seem to be able to use one properly. Hey, it's just right around the corner to get back to it. May have to a little, be a little more careful with the detonator. Look at that, I had killed all of them but one, really. Yeah, but even solo, you can see it, even solo. And with the uh, Spinal Tap weapon, they should be healing me. They are still just laying into me. And they are, they, they make a lot of noise if you can't tell. It's very, very loud gameplay. Yeah. So, well, that was some pretty awful gameplay. Maybe if you use a detonator, you you make sure the guys aren't as fast as you, right? <laughs> that way, you're not blowing yourself up. But that would uh, that would be the shrill. So that will be what we'll be seeing hopefully Tuesday. But they said it could be as late as. Thursday. So that will be uh, some of the uh, niceties that will be coming this week. And I'll catch you guys later.